in the last video I was talking about uh, starting the rear suspension with making a differential. So uh, from the E30 uh, I discovered that the small uh, drive tooth uh, half gear actually isn't that uh, weak if supported properly. Uh, as you can see this structure I have uh, supported it so it cannot it cannot deflect away from the big gear and of course it also cannot uh, oscillate up and down uh, those are the main forces that destroy those gears um, effectively effectively uh, this is now a 3 to 1 uh, ratio differential which is pretty close to what the real uh, challenger has uh, the differential ratios in the in the production cars are a uh, little higher between 3.09 and I think it's uh, 3.7 or something like that doesn't matter for our purposes this will be fine uh, and you can see here that I have modified a differential Essentially, what I've done here is uh, I hollowed out the 36 uh, tooth gear and then I glued in uh, the new LEGO differential. So I effectively uh, made a proper differential. Uh, with a with a nice big gear ratio and inside of it you can see four uh, pinion gears I drilled a three millimeter hole in the center and uh, put in a bar which I then trimmed to fit the size of it and uh, the one nice thing about this is that, that uh, even if I pull the axles out the gears stay inside of the differential. Essentially, I, I need to pull out the bar for the gears to be able to... Ah, sorry for that. Uh, in order to be able to remove the gears. Uh, from uh, the Mustang differential, uh, I know that the gluing, this, thing, this uh, edge, actually does hold. This should be good. If not, we can always uh, machine another plastic ring to fit inside of this gap here and glue that one to both the outer gear and the inside of the differential. Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to share this with you. Uh, oh, come on, there we go. And the other one. So we we need to see how this works uh, when it's mounted on the real car. Uh, I suspect since the car will be a lot lighter than previous models, uh, this will actually hold. I don't expect this uh, small gear to break. Uh, if it does. Well, we are going to re-engineer the differential, but until then, uh, I'll go with this. It's nice, it's small, and allows us a lot, a lot more freedom uh, designing the rear suspension. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, pictures in the description down below, uh, and I see you next time. And again, a reminder, please uh, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget the E30 design competition. See you next time.